Hello subscribers and random viewers. All of you who use high quality audio equipment understand the importance of room acoustics. Some time ago, I moved to a new room and empty space may be the worst thing for my home audio setup. So far I have used temporary solutions, filling the space with foam panels of various shapes and thicknesses. It did help a little, but not enough. At the moment, the space is very empty and the reverberation time, or RT60, is pretty big. It manifests itself as echo and is definitely not good for music. A small spoiler, how everything was before and after the installation of IKEA eCAD cabinets. If you listen through headphones, then you should have heard that the clapping sound stops significantly faster after installing the IKEA eCAD modular storage cabinets. This is what we need, the first step for better room sound. The room should be filled including all surfaces, not just the floor like in this picture. For this little work, I have purchased 9 IKEA eCAD storage cabinets. They come in different sizes, different colors and with or without doors. The more randomized stuff on the walls, the better acoustics. One such cabinet costs around $20. It is intended to fill the blank wall above and around the TV where the sound is reflected most rapidly. So what do we get for $20 in one box? Of course cardboard for wrapping, they totally were generous with cardboard. One surface, a book how easy it is to assemble, then another surface, a stencil for putting cabinet on a wall, another surface, a part box and of course another cardboard. The last surface and the back of the cabinet. This box has some small required parts. I already assembled two white cabinets beforehand for training and to show you how easy it is. Now let's assemble this beige eCAD cabinet. Here are four easy steps on how to assemble. No screwing or gluing. Very fast and easy. This is the main advantage of IKEA products, that they are so user friendly. Find the right plates, they are numbered. Then put them together and apply a little force to fasten them. You can also use a rubber hammer if force is not with you. Then add the next surface, but don't forget to correctly connect it. Make sure that everything in the back fits perfectly. And then just squeeze everything together. Then put in the back panel and after that put on the locking panel. Fasten it properly. We use the following plastic latches to fasten everything. We install them in four locations. Then we insert the locking plastic wedge into each one of them, as far as it will go. Alright, cabinet is assembled. Now you have to figure out where you will put it, whether on the floor or on the wall. In my case, they will be placed on the wall in the biggest spaces. Another pile of those cabinets is waiting to be assembled. But let's get to work. There will be 9 eCAD cabinets in total. As you can see, it's not easy. While breathing heavily, the space gets filled with dangerously elevated concentrations of CO2 and it continues to grow. Click on the i button to check out my CO2 sensor review video. Less than a half remains. Most already waiting to be put on the wall. It actually takes more time than initially thought and it creates a little mess in the room. Yeehaw! 9 cabinets done. Looks nice. I really like it. Now I just have to put them on the wall. 2 cabinets will be with doors and 4 will have a smaller space for bigger randomization and better room acoustics. As the cabinets will be placed on the wall, each one must have a wall mount on the back. Here is a manual on how to do it correctly and the mount itself with all necessary details. Cabinets will be placed on a wall in a free space around the TV. I bought an additional extension pack so that nearby cabinets can be also connected together for more security. When cabinets that will be connected are chosen, we can easily connect them together using these mounts. Then just as easily attach the corner mounts. When the corners are attached to both cabinets, it's time to prepare the wall. IKEA is a nice company, because cabinets come with ready-made stencils that you glue together and then just drill directly into crosses. Here's the planned layout of the cabinets. Pages definitely should be glued while using level tool so that everything is beautiful and straight. Use a vacuum cleaner to collect all the dust. IKEA got you covered and marked all required places. Grab your biggest gun in your home and drill the devil out of those holes. Then fasten the mounting part of the cabinets to the wall. Tighten the screws properly because cabinets will be loaded with heavy books that we will never read. Though remember that the max load for these cabinets is 15 kilograms. Here's how first two mounts look on a wall. It would be wise to ask for some help here, even though I did this alone. You should carefully mount these cabinets without scratching the wall and make sure you push cabinets down so that they lock into place. Two cabinets done, only seven left. After an hour, everything looks brighter and only three cabinets that need to be attached to the wall are left. Well, about time. 
half a day has passed and nine cabinets are on a wall. I like how it looks. Well, now I just have to take care of this chaos. Before doing this project, I wasn't sure that room acoustics would improve so much. But with these e-care cabinets, echo in the room has significantly decreased. I'll run the sound test again before and after installing the cabinets. By the way, during this test, the cabinets were empty. At the moment, the cabinets are full and the room acoustics have improved a little bit more. Now I just have to think what to put on the other wall, which is empty right now. Thanks for watching the whole video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to support my activities and to meet me in some other home stuff playlist video. I hope that this video actually helped you assemble and mount these ECAT cabinets. Thanks and I'll see you later. Adios.